Welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. We are getting started a little bit late here. Welcome to the stream. We are live on Twitch right now. We are not live on YouTube. So if you're watching the replay, catch us next time. We stream most Saturdays, 6 to 10 p.m. in the Central Standard Time Zone. On twitch.tv slash HeroQuestFans. Where you can interact with us on the Twitch chat. If you're not controlling a hero, you can use your channel points, your gold coins, to buy potions and other things for the heroes or you can buy monsters and other nasty things for your old pal Uncle Zargon. And I am a, a little bit late getting started here because I was just coming back from another a live game actually. And I made up my mind I am going to Gen Con this year with some friends so it should be fun. So I'll be gone for that weekend. Possibly the 4th of July weekend as well but I'll let you all know uh, on the schedule. So thanks for joining us. And of course, shout out as always to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music. Hope you're hearing me loud and clear. And I see Jacer in the chat. And I see Elviler. Welcome. You guys are going to join us as heroes. Uh, you're certainly welcome. One other guy that might join us. And there were some rewards that people cashed in last time that I want to acknowledge. Nothing ever gets wasted. So if you guys want to hop into Quest Talk on Twitch, or I mean, sorry, on Discord, HeroQuest Fans Discord, that's where we communicate. You can talk to us live. Valor says, I wish you could stay and play. Got to run soon, though. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, you can see where we're at. We're actually playing the Frozen Horror Heart of Ice. So that's Quest 9, Part 10, believe it or not. We're that far. I'm just going to stop the stream here and then restart. All right, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bed Audio for the great music. We are streaming live on Twitch, like I said, and on YouTube, you're just watching the replay. So call for heroes. We've got openings for heroes. So Elviler's got to run, but thanks for joining us. You can always cash in some gold if you want. And Jacer, I see in the chat, but he's not saying anything yet. So here's where we left our heroes last time on the Heart of Ice. So if we take a look here, this is actually the stair, stair tile right here in this green room. So we've got a halberdier and a scout. And we've got the elf and the alchemist wizard here. We've also got the rogue. And we've got the door, we've got the knight. And we've got the barbarian. And we've got a crossbowman who's wounded. He's taken one body point of damage. Outside the door, there is actually a swordsman who uh, has taken one damage, but he went outside the door with an uncommon feat. So he's just out probably until the next quest. But the heroes have made their way, and there is this room with this frozen river. Let's see if it's connected going up that way. There is a chaos warrior hanging out in the frozen river monsters are not affected by that there is a polar war bear also who is down to half damage he's taken three body points of damage he's got three left pretty ferocious monster of course gets the two attacks and it, we've established that this stairway leads to the second level that is it leads to quest 10 the frozen catacombs where the heroes have to search for the crystal key because only the crystal key will open this door where they know the frozen horror waits for the final showdown. And of course, the, the point of these two quests, the mission, the final mission for this campaign is to locate and destroy the frozen horror and remove the threat to the world. Now, the heroes do have quite a bit of gear. As you can see over there, the barbarian has six body points left. The rogue has two. And I'm going to refer to my paper to make sure this is all up to date because 
We've been doing a play test and some other things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Barbarian has six. Rogue has two. Elf has three. Alchemist Wizard has... Well, I have... He, he has one left. I don't think he healed, so he's down to one. And then the knight is down to five. So let me just update that. And I know we had some sound issues in the past past stream, so sorry about that. We're trying to kind of keep things uh, a little bit more balanced this time. I think I had my volume really low, and then other people's volume was turned up. So, yeah. Okay, and just for reference here, uh, the Alchemist has used up two of his fire one of his air and one of his water so basically he's used the equivalent of courage and ball of flame tempest and veil of mist now he also has the gossamer net which is like another tempest he's got a whole bunch of potions uh, he's got Potion of Alchemy. He's got uh, two Potions of Magical Aptitude. Uh, one Magic Resistance, which is against all. One Magic Resistance is just against damage. Wolf's Bane Potion. Potion of Strength. Potion of Rejuvenation, which is 1d6. Toolkit, 100 gold coins. And let's see, the Rogue... Oh yeah, and the uh, the alchemist has his alchemist staff. So that's two black dice for attack. Defends with four dice. That's three green, or I'm sorry, one <laughs> one green and three white. It's four total. Because he's wearing bracers and the alchemist cloak. My little bonus there because he's upgraded. The rogue has a dagger, which is one. Hammer, which is two, and throwable, which you lose it if you throw it. Longsword, which of course is three. He's got the bandolier, so technically he has unlimited throwing daggers. And he's wearing a buckler for armor. So his uh, defense is three. He's got all three of his skills. He also has an additional skill, which is faint. Let me just show you that card here. One of these combat cards. It's faint. That's for the rogue. And he's got 75 gold coins. As well as fire resistance, two potions of warmth, a toolkit, which he doesn't need because the bandolier functions as a toolkit as well. Magic resistance for damage, potion of restoration, which is one body, one mind. Potion of defense, potion of strength, The elf has a longsword and a crossbow. And for armor, he's got bracers, shield, and a helmet. And at the moment, it looks like he's got a bonus for his armor. So he's got two extra defend dice. Take it till he loses a body point. And now he has earth. So, Pastor Rock is all he's got left. He has a Potion of Recall, two Potions of Warmth, Magic Resistance Against Damage, Potion of Vision, a Scroll of Shellac and Mortar, which is like Rock Skin, Magical Aptitude, two Healing Plus Fours, the Barbarian, he has lost one Mind Point. Of course, he is using the Amulet of the North artifact. So his maximum body is 10, even though he's down to 6. His mind is maximum 3, he's down to 2. His skills include Rallying Cry and Hidden Reserves. 
see here. Those are single use only. And he's got 40 gold coins. Uh, he has the Fire Lance Scroll, which is like um, Fire of Wrath. He's got Magic Resistance against all Healing 1d6, Fire Resistance, Holy Water, Antidote. He's got a Potion of Superior Restoration. He's got a scroll, so he actually has two scrolls. Fire Lance and also Berserker Brew, which is like Courage. He's got a toolkit and the Armband of Ice, which protects him from most ice damage. And for his weapon, he's got his great sword, known as Molly the Murderous, which is four attack dice, including diagonals. As a champion, he rolls two black dice with any sword. Cheers, dead gamer. Sword also got another nickname, Stabby McStab. <laughs> for armor, he's got a helmet, cold iron plate, which prevents theft, but it does reduce him to one red die for movement. It's true. Crawl Casey down just a little bit here. And the Barbarian also has the Snowshoes of Speed, which add two squares of movement. So really, he rolls 1d6 plus two squares per turn. But yeah, the Cold Iron Plate prevents Ice Gremlins from stealing stuff, and he's got a helmet as well. And then last but not least, we have the Knight. And the knight is wearing plate armor. Of course, he is not slowed down by that at all. He's got a spiked shield artifact. He's got a whip. The whip allows him to whip over traps. And it's also a one attack die diagonally. He's wearing a helmet. He has Fortune's Longsword, which has used up its reroll ability. So it's just like a regular longsword now. Except it can't be rusted because it's an artifact. His, so his attack is three, but his defense is five white dice and one green die, because he's a champion. Also, when he's fighting against the wandering monster of the quest, um, he gets one extra, or he gets substitute one black die. And on this quest, the wandering monster is two polar war bears. <laughs> yes, two polar war bears. So the knight has a bunch of stuff. He's got the Ring of Warmth, which, which is not quite as good as the Armband of Ice, but it does protect him from a lot of ice-related damage. He's got a Potion of Restoration, one body, one mind. Two, um, Magic Resistance that's against damage potions. Um, let's see. A Magic Resistance against all, looks like. Two Holy Waters. One healing D6, or healing 1D6. War potion of Warmth. Uh, two plus four potions of healing. Antidote. He's got the Warhorn of Command, which means that mercenaries he hires that survive will be hireable again at half price next time. That's if you guys survive this. He's got a potion of Airwalk, also known as a zip line, and a bottle. Wolfsbane potion toolkit and he's used up two of his skills so the knight's skill that's left is the knight's challenge that's all he's got left so now the question is who will control these mighty heroes and as of this moment we don't have anybody yet I think sometimes uh, you know we don't get started on time and people kind of show up later which is fine I'm happy to go through any of that with anybody that needs it. But yeah, it's pretty tough. It's a pretty tough quest. All they got to do is defeat the Frozen Horror. But this is a two-parter. So when they travel from one quest to the other, so from 9 to 10, they don't get to do any shopping. Their spells are not restored. Or their skills are not restored. Their body and mind points are not restored. Uh, the game board is reset, but monsters that were previously defeated do not return. And they get to keep treasures in between, but 
Um, there's no extra treasures. If that makes sense. The treasure deck does not get replenished. When they go back and forth. Yeah, so when when uh, they all decide to leave on the stairs, then they transport to the next uh, quest, which is quest 10. And they can come back, but th what they need to find is the crystal key. Once they find the crystal key, they can open that final door to the central, central room. You cannot enter quest 10 until all the heroes have moved onto the stairway. Once all heroes have moved onto the stairway, remove the quest 9 set up from the board. When the heroes return to quest 9, set out only room A until they explore other rooms. Monsters they killed previously do not reappear. I'm going to go ahead and read the story text here while we're waiting. Quest 9 and 10, double quest. The Heart of Ice. Now that the scepter of glacial majesty has been destroyed, the frozen horror is vulnerable. The time to destroy it is now. Start from the iron entrance door. First, you must find the spiral stairway that leads to the frozen catacombs. There you will find the crystal key. This key will open the final door, the door to the seat of power, where the frozen horror awaits. Be sure to take mercenaries along on your quest. And yes, you have. Yes, you have. All right. So now we wait for heroes. A couple people express interest, so I think we will have heroes tonight. The question is just when they'll show up. And as Zargon, I am availing myself of the Zargon deck. So every turn that I don't have monsters on the board, I get to draw one of these evil cards. And of course, I will be honoring the gold coins used by non-hero players in the chat. And so far, there have been some cash-ins. So, there's been a request to reshuffle the deck, which uh, the treasure deck will be reshuffled. And also, two requests for monster upgrades. So, we can upgrade two monsters. And there's a bonus equipment for hero. And the only thing is, I'm not sure what... Oh, there it is. My equipment deck so we could see what they get for equipment bonus equipment looks like that was cashed in by ribby so if he was here we would let him decide but if not uh, we can decide who who gets it shuffling the cards here so yeah the other quest i was playing before we got here i was playing uh, the second solo elf quest and to be fair I wasn't uh, like we hadn't played the first quest before like before that one so the elf was just kind of starting from scratch I did let him pick two random potions but other than that uh, he started out with water and it was extremely tough he got really really close the solo elf got really really close he got he was like one room away from victory and he got taken down by a giant wolf I mean those things are pretty powerful I mean you really need some armor and you need uh, a better weapon to take him down or you need a lot of really good dice rolls so but I mean I wasn't using any modifications other than that other than well let's see I did allow the jump any square rule which was never implemented I mean nobody but I mean he didn't use it at all I also allowed him to search corridors for treasure, which I kind of tend to do anyway. It's like just like the first edition. And I did have a lot more treasure cards in the deck for randomness. But yeah, pretty tough. Yeah, with the Mage of the Mirror, I've played the first quest maybe like a handful of times now, with always with different modifications. And the second quest, that was the first time we'd really played it. But I think it's definitely definitely one where you probably want to make some modifications as Zargon. Otherwise, it's going to be... I mean, it. yeah, it's, it's extremely tough. <laughs> I 
for a, for a, br a brand new hero. If you're fully equipped, you know, maybe not so bad. Okay, so we've got the... Let's see, is this... Equipment deck here. I'm going to shuffle it. I haven't shuffled it probably in ages. So yeah, I homebrewed myself an equipment deck using the expanded armory that I have. Shuffle in here. We had a major rainstorm today, too. Just trying to get through that. Better than a snowstorm. <laughs> it's always nice, you know, on a rainy day. It's like, hey, all those things that you put off uh, until a rainy day, now you get to do them. Okay, so we'll draw an equipment card here. For the heroes, a spear. So that's two combat dice, including diagonally, can be thrown. Cannot be used by Alchemist or Wizard. Oh yeah, and I did homebrew the rule. I said, though lost when thrown, it may be retrieved on a future treasure search. So, otherwise it's a diagonal weapon. So, we get to decide who gets that, the spear. Let me check the chat here. I haven't been looking at the chat. Sorry if you've been saying stuff. Okay, Elviler says, sounds pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wasn't one war bear enough? That's almost enough to deter treasure searches. Well, you've got those wandering monster traps that occur in corridors. And I always tell heroes, look, if I were you, I would bunch up. Like, because otherwise you're going to get a monster on both sides. And that's a double. that's two double attacks. So yeah, you got to pull out all the stops. The other the other trick is to put yourself in a corner with the other heroes surrounding you so that the wandering monsters can't get close enough to actually attack you. Um, because they can only attack the searcher. Or, you know, if the knight uses his knight's challenge, which is a one-time use thing. Hey, Jacer. And then Elvio says, upgrade a monster. Does that upgrade one monster in the board or all the monsters of a type? I just have been doing it individual monsters. It's not safe to go alone. Take this. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got to decide on my upgrades. You know, one cool upgrade would maybe be to. Upgrade the Chaos Warrior. see here I mean chaos warriors are pretty tough as is right pretty strong some notes here Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the Chaos Warrior. We're going to tap him into the ranks of the Doom Guard. So he's going to move eight squares instead of seven. He's going to defend with six instead of four. So that's one upgrade. And what should the other I hate to waste it on the Wounded Warbear. What should it be? I think the for the war bear he's going to defend with blue dice. Ah, somebody just posted a character sheet. Okay. 
Jacer says, only one thing I have different. Knight gave Airwalk potion to Rogue. Ah, thanks, Jacer. Welcome, by the way. And he rolled a 10. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see uh, what you were doing there. I wasn't looking. I apologize. Hope a couple people play. Whose turn is it anyway? Okay, so you were just doing a test roll there. I mean, I'll honor the 10. Okay, let me just check that airwalk. To the road. Let's see, who had it before? I know I just read it off. Knight. Yeah, okay, okay. So we'll say that Potion of Airwalk, or Zipline in a Bottle, goes to the Rogue. The Batman. Yeah, I think it was given to the Rogue to cross the river at some point. Yeah, because the Icy River was the thing. Because really, you guys have explored so much of this dungeon here. I'm going to double check one thing, because there was one other tile I think might be in the wrong spot. You know, resetting the board so many times here. Because I've got a couple of games going at once now. Yeah, there should be a pit trap in this doorway. And a dangerous square next to it. And there was an icy tile. There should actually be four icy tiles. For some reason, early on, I only put like a couple of them out. You're supposed to reveal them like as people slip over them. <laughs> but uh, I think at this point, it's pretty obvious what's there. Okay, so Jay, sir, it looks like you're the only one here. So the turn order we have for characters is Barbarian, just like you see it, Barbarian, Rogue, Elf, Alchemist, Wizard, Knight. Yes, five heroes. Do you mind controlling five heroes? Um, I don't mind. Um, can we give the spear, I guess, to the Rogue? Yes. Sounds good. Okay, so the rogue now has a spear. Rogue Spear, of course, was the sequel to Rainbow Six, if anybody remembers that PC game. That series is still going. I kind of lost track of it after maybe the third or fourth one. Rogue Spear. It's kind of the start of your first person tactical first person shooters where it wasn't all just about being a one man army. It's about actually trying to plan out your operations. Cool idea at the time. All right, well, I guess we can just kind of get started, and as people join in, uh, they can kind of lift the burden. So if you were seeing before, the, the knight, rogue, and Barbarian are in this doorway in this green room, so it's the Wounded Crossbowman, everybody else is on the stairs. So, you rolled a 10, is that for the Barbarian then? Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was my turn or if it was your turn. Oh. Like, like you said, that we've been going with different yeah, campaigns yeah. that... Good point. Some no. things go by the white side, and I think that you chased after me, and that it is the hero's turn, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, let me double check, because, yeah, it might actually be my turn. The nice thing is I can go to the end of the tape here, so to speak. I'm just going to check the video here real quick. Yeah, a lot like of I Saturdays. Remember the I remember the mercenary falling in the river because I couldn't throw. You know, they couldn't all be thrown. <laughs> yeah, we were using the uncommon feat to toss people across. 
That was fun. Okay, yeah, there were two Polar War Bears. You guys were wiping out the last Polar War Bear. He's dead. The other monsters. Just watching the recording here. Yeah, you basically were moving everybody to the stairs. The automatic subtitles have a real problem with halberdier. Doesn't understand what that is. So it spells it differently every time. Don't blame me the words when I'm saying it every time. Halberdier. 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 <laughs> and when I say your name, like it never gets it. It's it's always like Jason or yeah, uh, I, and I'm so used to that anyway. Yeah. It's like we know who you're talking about. Whole week to think about it. Whoops. Just missed it, what I said here. Yeah, I want to say all the heroes moved. So it's my turn. Got a whole week to think about this. And here we are. In the heart of ice. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna move. Hey, Comrade Polsky, thank you for banning World of Chatters. Those darn bots. Of course I was joking. On the last stream with Strange Bus, that the uh, the AI were having the revenge on me for <laughs> all the bannings, but hey, it wasn't me; it was my advisors. <laughs> Not always, but anyway, thanks for that, Polsky. Awesome. Okay, all right. So, let's see, so I've got a Doom Guard and I've got a Polar War Bear. Polar War Bear is pretty powerful. He should probably go. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right up to the night. All right. And the way I've been doing this is the double attacks, except for the rogue. I'm treating them as one big roll. So he's going to be rolling eight dice. So we got three skulls against the knight. And the knight defends with five white, one green. Get some lag there. Cha-ching! Okay. Three. So you took one damage. Down to four. Knight is down to four. Okay. And then the Doom Guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, let's just say five. He's right behind Polar War Bear. Okay, Barbarian. So it's all you, Jacer. It's all you. So 
So we've got four other hero slots open if anyone wants to join. Where's the barbarian at? Sorry, it's painted. He's painted, so he's right behind the knight in the green room. Okay. Um, he's going to move one space to the right and one space down and attack diagonally through the door. Ah, Stabby McStab. Molly the Murderess. Okay, so two, two yep. white, two black. Stabby time. Three skulls. Three. Okay. Monster defends with three blue. He's upgraded. Ching ching and takes a hit. So that's four damage for him. He's got two left. Um, he's not the rogue? Yes. Uh, need any clarifications on what the rogue's got just let me know he's got the spear which is uh, two yeah but I think he kind of seems stuck yeah uh, it doesn't look well he can pass through monsters remember yeah, so I need a one, two, three, at least a four. Sneak past him. Alright, 2d6 for your movement. Shabby. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, that other ten was the um, that was a test roll. I did a test uh, combat dice and a test with the other one, but the barbarian can't roll two d six. Good point. So so yeah, they were both tests. Um, mm -hmm. but this one a ten. But put him just south of the polar war bear. All right. So using combat mobility, he sneaks by. Yep, and I'll use the opportunistic striker with the long sword since he's adjacent to yep. my allies. So you roll four. Four white dice. Two skulls. Two. Three blue. Ching, and one, another one. hit. Uh-oh. Almost got him. Nothing more dangerous than a wounded animal. All right, elf. Um, the elf is on the stairs, right? Yes. Uh, With the gray hair. The elf will stay put. Okay. And the wizard. Okay. How about the knight? Okay, the knight's gonna attack. What's he attacking with? Well, with, I guess it's either Fortune's Longsword or the Whip. Yeah, so two white and one black. Yes. Because right. this quest, Wandering Monster. Good point.
Two. All right. Two skulls. Okay. Oh, got him. Here, here are the fence. Doesn't work. The polar war bear is down. Pile of skulls. All right, f first kill of this game session. All right, and there's, um, there's still one more monster, right? Yep. Doom Guard. Is the knight gonna move at all? Um, the knight's gonna move one space to the right. Into the room, okay. Yeah, to try to block the uh, rogue. All right, and uh, how about the crossbowman? Uh, he's gonna stay put, and the swordsman's gonna move one space down. When you say the swordsman, he's out the door. Which, uh, which mercy? Oh, um, the one in yellow. In the... Sorry, the one in yellow is the crossbowman. The one no, in red, that, the, the uh, scout. The one that's next to the Green. knight. So then, uh, sorry, the knight and the rogue are together in the room. Okay. So which mercenary are you talking about? There's two of them on the staircase, one above. Did I confuse you? Um, no, okay. I was just, uh, never mind, it's uh, the scouts on the stairs already. Okay, never mind. All right, so mercenaries are not going to do anything. Oh, one, two, three, four. You know, yeah, the crossbow is going to give it a shot. Uh, going to go in the room and then up, and use all six movement. Six. And then I guess take a shot. Okay, so he's firing at him with three dice. Two, Two. skulls. All right, so Doom Guard. What did I say? He defends with six. Ching and a wrestling move. Yep. All right. So he uh... <laughs> trying to think of something cool here. He grabs the bookcase and he just like tips the whole thing over, and it crushes the unfortunate crossbowman beneath it. Fatality. Crowd is just shocked at the brutality of, of that move. So, scratch another mercenary. Yep. All right. My turn. Um, Halberdier can't help. All right, the scout can move seven bases and get next to the rogue, and he can attack with two dice. Okay, so it's leaving the I think that's all. Stairs. Okay. But I think that's all he can do. Yeah. Desperate move.
Yeah, you can roll whenever. One spell. All right. Six defense. Make attack started. Wow, I didn't block anything. You're winded from your temper tantrum. Yeah. So now it's your turn. So. Certainly got courage. A lot of good it's going to do him if he gets himself killed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. All right. So I, I turn on him. Let's help start who just attacked me. Let's attack him with four. Missed. Wow. Excellent. He really is winded. Wounds them just enough. I guess so. I stabbed this big though. Threw his whole balance off. Yep. Swinging wild now. Okay, so barbarian. Can you see that well enough, or do I need to? Is that a little better? Okay, so the barbarian's one away from the doorway. I just have a green screen that says unstable internet connection. And it uh -oh. just shows your profile pic and not the actual hmm. map. Hold on. I know the thing. No, I think it's just you, because I, I can see it fine. Okay. Oh, I got it back. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying Barbarian's turn. Yeah, I'm glad this okay. screen isn't messed up. We, we almost have tech, always have technical issues at some point. All right, the barbarian's gonna move uh, three spaces. Okay. He's gonna go up, Two, three. up, right, and up again, and attack diagonally. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. I almost did that wrong. It's not four. It's uh, a two point. One D six plus two. Uh, two. Oh, because you figured he is gonna have at least three. Okay, so two skulls. It's the Doom Guard. Six defense. Ding and a hit. He's got one left. All right. Not too bad. The uh, rogue's gonna go with his diagonal attack. Okay, longsword. So four. Yes. Oh. Yeah, those bonuses four. help him a lot. Three skulls. All right, three. Wow. The longsword's a big help. Mm -hmm. Ching ching, and then wasn't enough. Got him. Ugh. Down he goes. After the rogue with the crossbow. Yeah. Doing damage to, you know, especially if he goes second, you got a barbarian that charges the monster to the side or something, and then open fire with the. For now, four dice. Now let's think about the crossbow. So I know people debate about this sort of thing, but the opportunistic striker means you're attacking a monster. Who's adjacent to a hero? Is that right? That's adjacent to it. Yeah, adjacent to one of your allies. Right. So, 
you're shooting a monster from across the room. As long as that monster is next to, yeah, a hero or mercenary, you get the bonus. That's how I would read it. Yeah, if he can write. Like, so that's why it makes him a great to go second or third. Right. As opposed to saying, like, oh, another hero is next to him. Because that wouldn't make sense, because you're shooting at the monster from range. But yeah, it's not that bad. Not that hard to figure out. Okay. All right, so you've cleared out the monsters. All right, and I'm going to head to the stairway with everybody else. Uh, I guess the mercenaries can move out first. Yeah, each one... Yeah, to the stairs. Alright, the halberdier can go out up the stairs. Yep. The, uh, the crossman died. Uh, the other swordsman waiting for us to come back down. And that's just my heroes left now. Alright, so they, they can all move their eight spaces to the door or 12 spaces to move to the next level. Yep. The stairs. Yeah, the Barbarian has eight spaces towards the stairs, and everybody else, 12 spaces. Yes, he is. Yep, and then the rope. I thought he already left, but yeah, he's hit leave too. 